Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're gonna to be building some CT Rail MBB coaches. Now these are leased from MBTA, and actually did make a tutorial on the MBTA ones, uh, but this includes uh, the cab coach. And it is a whole lot new design, uh, it's from CT Rail, which is a rail commuter service between New Haven, Connecticut, and Springfield, Massachusetts. And this is uh, pretty much a train consist. Uh, there's a GP40-3H in the front and then I have uh, two of these regular uh, MBB coaches along with a cab coach at the very end and I think these are this is like the typical consist there might be like another extra coach I don't know it may vary uh, but in like some videos I just see like this consist um, but anyways this is a commission again by JFP3 so thanks to him for making this video possible and let's get started on the build. So we're going to begin by building the regular coach and you're going to line this up with the back of the locomotive. So this part right here, this is actually gray concrete, three blocks wide, two blocks above the tracks and it is 39 blocks long. So once you measure that 39, uh, we're going to go to one side and go underneath at five blocks wide of nether brick slabs. Then we're going to make this gray concrete five blocks wide. And then on top, we're going to make an uh, end shape using clay. And the end is going to be four blocks tall like that. And the sides, we're going to add three more clays. Next, we're going to take out uh, another brick wall, add it four or three blocks tall either side of the doorway. And this is going to be the gangway. In between, we would add another brick slab here, and then three at the bottom, and make the middle one a double. Then we're going to add a dark oak fence gate right down here, and open them up with a stone button right above it. Next, on the roof area, we're going to add in the skeleton skull, so uh, let me grab that. Add two of them, like a pair, on top. And then to the side, we're going to add polished your right stairs, two blocks long with another brick stairs. Same thing on the other side, so two polished to your right, another brick. All right, and then we're gonna add a three by three of clay here, and another polished to your right stairs. All right, then we're gonna work on the side a bit. Uh, let's add in a acacia slab, the top here, and then another one bottom, uh, red concrete underneath. Then a uh, stone brick stairs underneath that. And then a quartz slab right underneath that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So go right here, add the red concrete, stone brick stairs here, quartz slab underneath, and don't forget the acacia slabs top to bottom. And we're gonna add black concrete inside of the slabs, like so. As for the doorway, we're gonna add in Dear right wall, top to bottom, the middle is going to be black stained glass pane, like that. Then next to this stone brick stairs, we're going to add upside down nether brick stairs facing the center of the carriage. Same thing on the other side. Alright, now we're going to add in the wheels, so go down here and add gray terracotta. A pair of that, and that's going to be our wheels. Then three blocks long of nether brick. Uh, slabs. We're going to actually make it 3 by 3 add another pair of wheels here. And then we can add in dark oak fence gates in between uh, where the axles are. And it's a little tricky to place the other one. Alright, and then we'll add stone buns sides of the wheels. And then two um, dark oak fence gates. And that's going to face uh, towards the outer edge. Same thing on the other side. And then right above this outer fence gate, we're going to add another brick wall here. And then two nether brick stairs upside down facing towards the center. Same thing for the other one. Like so. Now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to repeat the same thing to this end to the other end. So once you added both ends, it should look like this. Then we're going to take um, red concrete add it right underneath this dear right stairs both ends and then a clay block 
two blocks below that. Same thing on the other end, like so. And then we'll take this layer right here, and then we're gonna extend it all the way across. So once you extend that all the way just before this nether brick stairs, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out clay and add it a two by three of clay here. So three blocks tall like that. All right, and then we're gonna add three clays here on top row. One clay down here, skip this clay here, add an upside down T shape of red concrete. Add a quartz to the bottom next to the red and then another quartz standing up. Add black concrete next to each of the quartz. And then another black concrete right above the last, the bottom one I mean. And then we're gonna go on the other side. It's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna make it a two by four of clay here. So I guess it starts right next to the door, I mean. So two by four of clay like that. And then three clays on top. And one clay in the middle here. And then skip this clay here, add upside down T-shape again of red concrete. Then quartz block here. And another quartz block down the up. And then black concrete next to it, and another black concrete right above the one in the bottom. All right, so now uh, we're gonna skip two here, add red concrete, skip two, and then red concrete, and that's gonna be the windows. And I guess we're gonna keep on doing that till we reach the end. Like that. And once we're at the end, we're gonna add another two red concretes here, clay at the bottom. All right, then we're gonna move on to the other side. And then we're gonna go over here next to the door, fill that in, red concrete. And then four red concretes after the door, so one, two, three, four. Fill in this part of clay. And then um, go every other or every other two blocks, I mean, like that. Just two gaps of space in the red concrete. And then keep on doing that so we have all these windows. Like that, all right, so it looks good so far. And now we're gonna fill in the windows using um, black stain glass blocks. So once we have all the windows, we're going to go to the left-hand side here and add in these two diagonal dark oak buns. Go to the other end, add diagonal two here, and then acacia button here, stone button on top. Now go on the other side, add uh, two dark oak buns diagonally, then go to this end, two dark oak buns diagonally, and then fill in that clay. Apparently I missed that. Acacia button above it and stone button right above that. So then we're going to take stone brick stairs, skip three stairs of deer right, and place the stone brick stairs there. Then take smooth stone slab, go down here, add in this nook here, and then add it right um, in front of that stairs, and that's going to extend uh, right until that red, like so. Then go to the other end. Then add a smooth stone slab here, and then right until the red. So that's just two blocks on this side. And for the rest of the bottom, we're gonna take out acacia slabs and just pretty much fill all this in. And the other side as well. Like so. So then we're going to go on this side, go to the third window, the pillar after it, we're going to add uh, this light gray concrete, delete these two blocks here, place in the light uh, gray concrete, and then uh, stone slabs underneath like that. Then we're going to go to this black stripe, go to this window next to it, the pillar, and add another brick slab like that. Then we're going to go on the other side, go to where this black stripe is. Go right underneath, add polish to your right there, and then skip block, add two here. Smooth stone slabs underneath. Skip a block. Four bedrocks. Um, and then stone brick slabs right underneath that. Then we're to skip two and then add in uh, three 
nether brick blocks like that. All right, so yeah, that's how you make the standard uh, MBB coach. Now I'm gonna convert it into this cab coach. All right, so here's the same coach, and we're gonna go to this end. This is gonna be where the cab is. So let's go down here, and we're gonna add a bell. So replace the slab with a Minecraft bell. And then we're gonna move up here, add a dark oak sign there. Go on the other side, add dark oak sign there. Go in the front, delete these uh, two by two there, delete the other side as well. Add two red concretes inside, both sides, and then uh, acacia slabs again on top the bottom, like so. Then we're gonna go down here, delete this five blocks wide of nether brick. And we're gonna make a plow using stone brick stairs to make a U shape. So the corners are curved and then upside down on the sides. Then on the side, there's gonna be a acacia fence gate here. Open that up. And then dark oak fence gate here. That's gonna be closed and then an open one next to it. And then we're gonna add another dark oak fence gate on top of the gangway. And we're gonna close up these fence gates that we already have. Then we're gonna take acacia trap door and then add two on the sides and close them up so that we cover up this wall here where the window is. Looks good. And then um, let's go on the roof part, add um, iron trap door there. That's gonna be our horn. Skip a block and add iron trap door on that side. Then we're gonna to go to the other side and we're gonna add an additional window here. It's just gonna be one block long, both sides block stained glass block inside of it. Now we also do want to move up this stripe thing so uh, actually we're going to make a new one and that's going to line up. So we're going to take quartz and that's going to line up with this window here so add quartz top here, another one dialing down, then black concrete here and then two right down there. The top row we're going to replace it, make it red make this red and then clay for the rest looks like this and then we take red concrete add that upside down t-shape here and then uh, three blocks on top like so then we're going to add three acacia slabs right here so that it goes one block away from that red then go down over here next to this bedrock, or not bedrock, nether rack. And we're going to add two polished deer right next to it. And then two smooth stone slabs underneath. And we're going to go on the other side and go to this light gray concrete. And we're going to add in three more to this. So one, two, three. And then add in two more stone slabs like that nether brick block next to it and this is going to be four blocks long like so and then add a nether brick slab underneath here delete this slab and then add a slab right next to this smooth stone slab and then dark oak fence gate and open it up so yeah that is pretty much it on how to build the ct rail hartford line uh, MBB coaches and thanks again to JF P3 for commissions built and making this video possible So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading More videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time Bye